Welcome back to more Dragon Age. Right. Time to see if the game still runs the same. Um, since the last video, I just switched out my video card. Finally decided to get rid of that half-defective uh, XFX that I've been uh, running. And I switched to an EVGA, NVIDIA. The game doesn't seem like it's going to be any different. But my background stuff has changed because I had AMD settings. And now I have an NVIDIA control panel. But as far as the game running, uh, yeah, it seems pretty much the same. I haven't noticed any differences so far. Alright, so... Make sure you strip these two uh, worthless cannon fodder before you hit the brazier here. That way you can cannibalize their stuff. Alistar you're going to keep, so it doesn't matter if you take his off or not. There we go. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Should we not- Do as I command. There's another sexy female soldier. That's actually Logan's daughter, I believe. Pull out! All of you, let's move! So she's got some kind of lieutenant or sergeant rank. I believe we end up killing her later, because she's going to side with, with uh, Logan. But there I go, spoiling plot points again. But hell, you're gonna find out in a few minutes. What's what's going on with Logan? Uh oh. Ow. Yeah, he's dead. That that ogre must have known that was the king because he got special attention. Now Duncan is pissed. The king was his homeboy. Getting some pixelation here. It's not just in the uh, video I'm getting it on mine, but these are. This is. This should be pre-rendered. Or maybe the skies just look like shit in general. The textures look like they're in the the game. Oh, but you can see the background's pixelated. I mean, I'm seeing that in on the game. It's not just in the video. And then we get gunned down. Ah, your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Aren't you pleased? <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to wake up to. Hmm, let's see. What happened to the Darkspawn? You were injured, and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Well, let's see. I just gotta pull the arrow out of my brain first. I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. What happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. 
Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Yeah, that's what an emotional person does. Were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you shall be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. I didn't know she was a healer. Okay. I have some questions, if you don't mind. I do not mind. Take your time. Question one. Do you want to fuck? Are we safe here? Where are the Darkspawn? We are safe, for the moment. Mother's magic keeps the Darkspawn away. Once you leave, tis uncertain what will happen. The Horde has moved on, so you might avoid it. Seriously, though, you took all my clothes off. Why else would you have done that? Why did she save us? I wonder at that myself. But she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to be worth much of a ransom at all. Coin is important to you out here? Who says I would ransom for coin? Gold has its uses, I suppose, but power buys far more. What power would you try to get from Loghain? His word that he won't come back into the forest? I don't think he intends to come back into the forest that's already overrun with Darkspawn. He abandoned it for a reason. Are there any survivors besides us? Only stragglers that are long gone. You would not want to see what is happening in that valley now. I already saw the cutscene. I'm pretty sure I know what's happening there now. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Are you sure you want me to describe it? Yes, tell me every little detail, Morgan. I had a good view of the battlefield. It is a grisly scene. There are bodies everywhere, and Darkspawn swarm them, feeding, I think. They also look for survivors and drag them back down beneath the ground. I cannot say why. I don't know either. I honestly don't know that. Um... I'm just getting the dialogue for the sake of the LP, really. Pretty much all this dialogue, all the dialogue in the game I already know. Why did Terran Loghain abandon the king? I do not know who this Loghain even is. Perhaps ask Mother of it. Yeah, she's not up to date with current Ferelden politics. Doesn't surprise me that she does not know who Loghain is. How did she manage to rescue us, exactly? She turned into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even tell you. I don't know why this tale would be hard to believe, because Morgan is a shapeshifter. She comes pre-equipped with that, and it's a large part of her backstory. You can actually have her shapeshift into stuff in combat. Plymouth did not quite exactly turn into a bird, but she did turn into something that can fly. I think I've asked enough questions. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. Achievement unlocked. Are you sure you don't want me to stay a while, Morgan? We can get better acquainted. Her outfit is really weird. She doesn't she doesn't wear a bra, but she's basically she she's one of the free the titties people. Which I'm also. I'm also a member of that cult. But the skirt looks kind of nice, because it's got all these shreds on it. It looks kinda of like feathers. Then you have these mismatched arm things. But yeah. Her personality is what I like the most. As you desire. Of course. I don't give much of a fuck about her outfit. In fact, we're going to be changing that when we put more equipment on her. As soon as I get a rope that's better than that stuff she's wearing, she's going to look more like me. She's going to be wearing stuff like this, which looks retarded. Better that than this. As for that chest, we're not... We don't... I don't think we ever opened that chest. I can't remember. Got any more dialogue, hooker? You must speak to Mother, then be gone. 
You have an army of Darkspawn to avoid, and would be best to get an early start. Why does your mother want to see me? I do not know. She rarely tells me her plans. Here's a nice line if you thank her. Thank you for helping me, witch chick. I... you were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. That dialogue there reveals that she's not used to gratitude. The way she said that. Got any other questions? I do not mind. Take your time. Suddenly you're not rushing us out of here. I think I done got all of these. I agree. Tis time you speak with Mother, then be on your way. She doesn't like I out outsiders, though, so she's anxious for us to get the hell out of here. But she'll be warming up to me soon enough, don't worry. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Uh, I'm not, thanks to Morgan's mother. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morgan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? <laughs> okay. Uh, so why did you save us? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Eh, she's no friends of the Blight. She doesn't have much of a reason not to help us. It's not like she had anything better to do today. It's the change when most of them were slotted. If you think small numbers make you helpless, you are already defeated. But we were fighting the Dark Spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. The answer is kind of obvious. He did not like Kaelin. He was tired of Kaelin, and he saw an opportunity to remove Kaelin from the board. All he had to do was back up and let him get killed to the dark spot. Now he'll pull back in dinner room and wait out the blight. Supposedly, I believe that's his plan. He doesn't think that this is a true blight either. And, uh, so he doesn't see them as much of a threat. What is this archdemon exactly? It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. Okay. Will you help us fight this blight, Flemeth? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. <laughs> I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the darkspawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king. If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Are Eamon the Arl of Redcliffe? Question mark. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, 
We could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Yes, Arl Eamon is uh, the king's uncle. Logan is the, the queen's father. So you have a bunch of confusing relations there. There's not too many characters to try and keep track of, but... Plymouth, by the way, is far more intelligent than she acts. Although, she doesn't really do a good job of hiding it, but she is. Surely, uh, that sounds like an excellent idea. <laughs> Such determination. How intriguing. I still don't know if Arl Eamon's help would be enough. He can't defeat the Darkspawn Horde by himself. Yeah, that Darkspawn's still going to be a problem. So we have the Darkspawn to deal with on one hand, which is going to overrun Ferelden if no one does anything about it. And we have a civil war with Loghain on the other hand. We need the rest of the Grey Wardens. I don't know how to contact them, or, or if they're even on their way. We need to do something now. You have more at your disposal than you think. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what Maybe else. Maybe werewolves. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Uh, <laughs> there is something else she wants to offer me, but I don't know if I should ask for it. Uh, yes, uh, as ready as we'll ever be. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? Or maybe The Grey one. Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You what? heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> oh, I definitely want her. Let's see. Uh, I think that's an excellent idea. Have I no say in this? Nope. You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Shouldn't we be repaying you? Not the other way around. But hey, whatever. We get us a mage. Very delicious one. Was this your idea all along? Pardon me. But I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Uh -huh. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. Oh, yes. Very good care. Uh, I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. What, what other things do you have? I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Oh, no, I want you to talk as much as possible. I love the things that you say. Uh, no, I prefer you to speak your mind. 
<laughs> you will regret saying that. No, I won't. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? No, I want to take her along because I want to hit that. This is my dream woman right here, Alistar. This is that is as good as it will ever get, at least for me. Uh Well, I like either of these. We need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Yeah, uh, Alistar and Morgan are not gonna like each other at all, but hey, he can deal with it. I'm gonna be getting rid of him before too long anyway. I have, uh, some more questions. I may have answers. Ask. Now's actually a good time to question her because Flemeth is here, and we won't be able to... There's not many opportunities to have Flemeth in conversation. Or we can talk to Morgan pretty much anywhere. Are you really Flemeth's daughter? Twas she who raised me, and thus I consider her my mother, born from her womb or not. Tis what you meant, yes? I honestly don't care. Um, just wondering her age. She would no more tell me than you, I assure you. And I can assure you that Flemeth is much, much older than she appears. Um, she's older than skeletons in the ground. Have you never been outside the wilds? From time to time. I have been to the village I mentioned, watched its people, and pondered what curious beings they are. On occasion, I purchased goods from the village merchants. There I spoke with men a little. There they stared, and knew me as an outsider. Mother wishes for me to expand the horizon of my experience beyond the wilds. Even she was not born here. Is that what you want? What I want is to see mountains. I wish to witness the ocean and step into its waters. I want to experience a city rather than see it in my mind. So, yes, this is what I want. Actually, leaving is harder than I thought, however. Perhaps Mother is right. It must simply be done quickly. I can help you with the mountains in the city. I can't help you with the swimming in the ocean part, because I don't... swimming is not in this game. Tell me about this village to the north. It is a small place of little consequence called Lothering. No more than a stop along your Imperial Highway where travelers purchase goods from local farms and smiths. I would go more often were it not for the town's chantry. It makes the village particularly intolerant and unpleasant for a stranger such as me. A chantry? And they never in all this time thought that maybe you were a witch? Of course they have. They even called out their Templars once. They found nothing. Eh, Chantry's not a threat to her because they're just religious idiots. The threat to her is the Templars. The Templars are the ones who police the mages. They keep mages like me locked up in the tower, and illegal mages like her would be captured or killed on sight. They don't like... They don't want any mages to be outside the circle without, like, authority. Without trust or consent. That's what an apostate is, an illegal mage. Because you're not associated with the dower. Is there any reason to go to Lothering, then? I mention it for its tavern, where travelers gather with news from other places. Tis small enough that our appearance might go unnoticed. Beyond that, tis close, and I know the way. How are we going to get past the dark spawn? The real question is how we are going to get your friend past the Darkspawn, is it not? That's true. We can sense the Darkspawn. Conversely, they can sense us. 
Well, that's now a problem for me as well, not just you, because I'm past the ritual. Although his is further, his is older than mine. I don't sense any dark spawn. You won't right away. No. It takes time. We should be able to sneak past smaller groups, but larger ones, or particularly intelligent dark spawn, will always detect us. Mother has given me something else for them to smell instead as we pass by. It is important we head out of the wilds, however, not farther in. Uh, it looks like Flemeth is not going to inject herself into this conversation like I thought she would. Dark spawn are camped further in the forest. They come from underground, like an eruption. They broke through deep within the forest, and that is where they will be most concentrated. What skills do you have, exactly? I know a few spells, though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother. I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can <laughs> cook, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, then you can substitute for Alistar. Right, my cooking will kill us. That's all I meant. I also know at least 15 different poisons that grow right here in this marsh. Not that I would suggest tis at all related to cooking. <laughs> I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... all I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Oh, don't worry. She won't have any problem with that. I've got... I'm gonna have that taken care of. I like Flemeth, too, uh... Compared to my mother, she's much smarter. And less of a bitch. If you think Flemeth is rude and, uh, unlikely or uncooperative, my own mother and other relatives are far, far worse. At least Flemeth is smart and in control of herself. She's not a bipolar idiot. Someone who rages all the time over stupid shit. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. <laughs> That's exactly what I was hanging about. Could you answer some questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> Not when they're recording. We gotta get those questions out of the way. Can I ask about your magic? Looking for new spells. Secrets you think old Flemeth has cooked up over the years. Well, they're of no use to you without years of practicing my ways. I am not like your circle with its books, you see. Not that I would mind a handsome lad to order around for a year or so. <laughs> if I were you, I'd take the darkspawn. Sorry, I'm more interested in Morgan. How long have you lived in the wild? Since before I was wrinkled and old. <laughs> you may think it strange, but I was once young and beautiful, just as Morrigan is now. Yes, men desired Flemeth then, and some even killed for her. I don't know. I, I don't think you look that bad for someone who's several hundred years old. You don't seem happy about that. I am not, nor was I then. It dictated all that followed. But enough. You have your task to complete. What will you do once we're gone? Huh. Have a moment's peace for once. I hear the peace of the grave is eternal. This is the <laughs> thanks I get for feeding you and putting up with you for this long. Bah! May your child one day treat you the same. Feed me, she says. Without me, I swear, she shall be caked in dirt and eating tree bark inside of a month. Morgan. Morgan is so lovable. Do you have any advice? About the dark spawn? About how to win over the witch chick. 
Um, yeah. Only that they are more cunning than they appear. More important by far is the Archdemon. It is the core of this taint, and while it lives, so does the Blight. This Tern Loghain is different. You must deal with the repercussions of his deeds before you can face the Archdemon, unless it finds you first. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. Have you not left yet? By the way. I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. You could come with us, you know. Oh, I prefer to remain here. Considering what the world has done to me, I have already done more than it deserves. What has the world done to you? That is between the world and me. Your business is elsewhere. But you're more powerful than we are, I think. It is not a matter of power. No one person in all of Thedas has enough power to stand against a blight. Were that the case, sending you two would be quite the jest. What is important is that you are both Grey Wardens. Your task is to unite the land, inspire its men, and turn them from their petty politics to face the Archdemon. In that, you are more powerful than I by far. I am but an old woman whom the world has largely forgotten. Except for the legends of the Witch of the Wilds. Questions, questions. One would think a Grey War... Then we are done. I don't think we have any, uh, dialogue. Any, or any more dialogue. What about you, Alistar? What do you need? You want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Actually, why am I talking to you? We're going to replace you. Uh. Oh shit, I done started this. I just thought you might need to talk. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... And everything. I'm sorry. Uh, no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. What about the other Grey Wardens? I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for their when they fall in battle. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Depending on your origin story, you might have an answer here. Because you have, uh, people close to your family members that die in the other origins. But as a mage, I don't really have anything. I was alone in the tower. I don't know if you count, uh, Joe as a best buddy. Um, so we have a generic answer here. I've lost enough to know what you're going through. Yes, I imagine you really have, haven't you? Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Okay, uh... He was a friend of mine, too. That's good to hear. It's nice to know I'm not the only one who remembers him well. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the Alistair dialogue, because I'm probably never talking to him again. I don't care about the approval of party members that I'm not going to keep, and I already know which ones I'm going to keep. Alright, let's get some, uh, some levels on this guy. Pretty sure we need 16 cunning to get all of the tactic slots. So, let's look at getting some more decks. Need this. Yeah, it's 16 cunning. We, this line here, we need to max this on all party members. This means that everyone in the game needs to have... Well, everyone other than me needs to have 16 cunning. But I actu I actually need the 16 for the coercion. So yeah, it's everyone. I just use it for something else. Can't get that cleanse until level 9. I don't really want the cleanse, but I have to get it to get these two right here. Which are very good spells. So that's 12 and 15. We're going to be putting all his stuff into the sword and board. Because that's what he does. What level are you? You're not level 9. 
He needs to get 32 strength for this top row and 26 for this row right here. There's nothing I can get at the moment other than that. This second row right here on the warrior line, this is basically trash. So we'll start getting these shield talents. Two of these are actually passives. Passives are great because they're always active. These two are passives. This one and that one is passive. Oh, so is that. We, I love passives. All right, there we go. What I could probably do now is try and give him a health potion. Let's see, health less than 25%. Use item. I'll give him the lesser ones. Just give him the bottom one. Self any, activate threaten. We want him to keep that up at all times. Deflecting missile attacks. Self. Being attacked by ranged. Activate mode. See shield cover, shield defense. What's the defense do? This takes a penalty to attack. Seems like a, a better deal than the shield cover. Increased chance to shrug off missile attacks. You know what? We'll just self any that one as well. And we'll forget about the other one. Now he's got. We don't need three different sustains. Enemy, any, shield bash. Normal damage as well as knocking the target down. Shield pummel. He's stunned. 20 seconds. I put that there. There, lead or higher. Shield pummel costs more to cast. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. See if we have any better weapons for him. Warden's longsword. Okay, he's got Sir Garland's. He's not going to use any ranged weapons. Get you can give you a helmet. You have a set on, right? Where's your set? Apparently these don't count as a set, splint mail. When you wear matching pieces like this, you usually get a set bonus that reduces your fatigue. Maybe it's not counting because he doesn't have the helmet. But I can give him this one. 0.5. As for shields, he's probably already got the best thing. Look at that. This is the shield we got from that, that ogre boss. Unfortunately, he needs 22 strength to equip it. So, I actually don't have enough strength to upgrade his shield. I should have looked at that before I spent those attribute points, because now he'll have to wait. There's not really anything else for him to use. We are going to use Alistar for a little while, so... His amulet is better than the one that I've got. Restriction drain. Okay, so only I can use that one. What is this? One willpower, ten mental resist. Well, he's the only one that can use that, so we may as well keep it. Cold resist. Give him this one. Okay, let's take a look at my hooker. What's funny is that if you take this off, she actually puts on a bra. 
a bra which was not on when she has on the clothes. So she's already when she's wearing the outfit she doesn't have a bra under it. She puts on one when you take it off. It's kind of weird. But I don't think we'll have a reason to strip her. I typically just strip people that we're going to get rid of. Taking a look at this staff here. Looks like the one that she's got is already a little bit better. Armor wise, we can give her this helmet. Don't really see a harm in that. But you know what, I'll probably give that to uh, Leanna. We're going to be getting Leanna soon. As for items... She's not going to have any strength. For basically anything that has a strength requirement, she won't be able to wear because she's not getting the stat. Oh, there's some hats here. To look at my character first, actually. Five, 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 mental resist. Hmm, that's okay. I don't even have any gloves on. What about my boots? These are some decent boots. Six defense. Forgetting to look at my own character. Well, only I can wear this. So we can put the thing on. Plus two health. Well, it's two constitution, however much health that gives. Amulet, amulet, amulet. That ring has no stats on it. Doesn't do anything. I'm taking first dibs on the items. My witch chick can take what's left. So we're going to give her this other hat over here. So we're already giving her a hat. Can't turn the graphic off on it, though. I don't... Is there an option to turn the graphic off on the hats? Because I'd rather see her hair. I can't remember that. Okay, you want 10 fire resist, cold resist, or 1 willpower? I think that... Wait, you got something already. Okay, well, yours is actually not bad. Ugh. Ugh. Seeing if we can turn off gear, the head items. No, I thought you could do that in this game. I guess not. All right. Well, let's look at her spells. So like I said before, she's a shapeshifter. Shapeshifter is one of the most worthless things in this game. There's basically no reason to get it. So she's wasting one of her specs, and she wasted one of the slots on Spider. So, I, I really wish she had that in Arcane Bolt instead, because then it would be put towards these. So what else does she have? Well, she has Lightning Bolt, just like I do. Herbalism, not using that. Not using this. She comes equipped with Drain Life. She also has Mind Blast. Stuns enemies in front of you. Does pretty much the same thing as Winter's Grasp. Because uh, this freezes the enemy, the other one stuns. She's got Frost Weapons, but I probably won't use it. Because uh, I'm not going to be big on the melee. Alright. She doesn't have hardly any slots. She's already got the drain life where I like it. Surrounded by at least two enemies. That's good. Let's put an enemy any in here. So that she will lightning bolt. What other spells do you have? She's got disorient. 
enemy. We won't be able to macro everything until she gets more slots. You can fill this book out. I think every tactic slot gives you like two more. So, if you want the computer to play itself, you need to get as many of those as possible. Uh, she doesn't have the heal spell yet, so she's still not healing. She's going to be my heal hooker, so we need to get more tactic slots, and she needs to get the healing spell. And I'll actually be putting spirit healer on her, but I can't put that as her first spec because she has shapeshifter there, so that's going to have to wait until level uh, 12. So I have to get the spec unlocked, then at level 12 I can put that on her. But right now she's got drain life. If she's got at least two enemies near her, she'll mind blast, which is a stun. And if they're a leader higher, she'll try to disorient. Disorient's a debuff. Debuffs like this, you don't have much reason to put them on every enemy. It makes a lot more sense to just save them for like a boss. Winner's Grasp, probably not going to use that. I might want to set move these things around in case I have to get control of her. I'm pretty sure I have mindset like this, although I have a shock. I have a lightning put there. Alright, that should do. Alright, Morgan, got anything else to say? The time has come to leave the wilds. Do you not agree? I think the helmets still come off when you're actually in the dialogue. The, uh, the conversation, so it doesn't really matter. All right, now we're going to call it a video here a little bit early before we go to lower the rank. I'm going to try and put these at good locations. So I will continue on to lower the rank in the next one. And we'll start to have some more combat because there's basically none in this video.